it's summer and it's hot, so you head to the beach only to find that it's closed due to blue-green algae blooms. If you spent much time around the Madison area lakes, this probably sounds all too familiar. If you walk down to the beach to your right, you may even see algae blooms on the lake right now. So what's going on here? The majority of the land in the Ahara watershed is used for agriculture. Although agriculture is very important to the Wisconsin economy, it is also the main source of pollution to the lake in front of you, Lake Mendota. The main sources of pollution from agriculture are manure and soil erosion. Manure is becoming an ever greater problem in the Ahara watershed because dairy cow herd sizes keep increasing while the area of land to spread the manure is decreasing due to suburbanization. Manure is spread on agricultural fields as a fertilizer. However, when manure is spread on the land, especially during the winter when the ground is frozen, rains and snow melt can easily wash the manure into waterways. Manure contains the essential plant nutrient, phosphorus. Phosphorus is an essential nutrient to plant growth, found in every living plant cell. Soil erosion can also be a source of phosphorus to the lakes. This phosphorus in the manure uh, goes into the soil and it increases the soil phosphorus concentrations. And then when we have large uh, extreme uh, runoff events, say during the spring and summer, uh, then a lot of soil erosion can occur and then that phosphorus associated with the soil will come in. If phosphorus is an essential plant nutrient, why are we so concerned about it getting into our lakes? When a large amount of phosphorus enters a lake, it can cause eutrophication. Eutrophication is an excessive amount of nutrients in a lake or other body of water. This causes dense plant growth and can cause the death of animal life from lack of oxygen. One negative result of eutrophication is blue-green algae blooms. Blue-green algae is a, a form of bacteria called cyanobacteria. Some forms of these algae uh, form scums, they float, they blow downwind. Blue-green algae can sometimes produce neurotoxins and liver toxins. These toxins can cause illness and even death in humans and especially pets if enough of the algae are swallowed. This is why it's important to listen to the warning signs and not swim at closed beaches. So we're dealing with a lot of uh, agricultural non-point pollution. Non-point means diffuse runoff and we need to curtail it with practices that uh, uh, would, would stop the soil erosion. But the manure management has been a particularly vexing problem, but we have some hope. Manure digesters provide a possible solution to the manure problem. Farmers who would otherwise have to spread manure on the land can instead pump it to a manure digester facility. The manure is put into large tanks where anaerobic bacteria break it down and produce methane gas. The methane gas can be used to generate electricity and can be purified into natural gas to be used in heating systems both on and off the farm. After being digested by the bacteria, both a solid and a liquid byproduct remain. The solid byproduct contains most of the phosphorus and is often used for animal bedding. It is also added to potting soil and compost mixes, which are sold outside of the watershed, so the phosphorus does not reach the Yahara Lakes. The liquid byproduct is spread on crops as fertilizer, but because most of the phosphorus was in the solid byproduct, much less phosphorus is added to the fields compared to when raw manure is applied. This means less phosphorus is available to run off into waterways. Our hope is, is that by a number of conservation practices to curb soil erosion and handle this manure uh, in ways that reduce the amount of phosphorus coming in, uh, the lakes will respond because we've had a long-term record of uh, the lakes with both droughts and flooding events. And when we have nutrient loads cut, uh, in the case of a drought, drastically, uh, we see the lakes responding within a couple of years. So the good news is, is that if we can cut the nutrient loads to the lake, the lakes will respond in positive ways. Let's talk. Investigate the beach in front of you. Do you see any signs of eutrophication? If you live on a farm, what is being done to decrease phosphorus runoff? 